Fuse Jet VRM 7 billion parameter model is the fusion of three prominent jet LLMs with diverse architectures and scales. These three prominent LLMs are NH2 Mixtrol 18 to 7 billion, NH2 Solar 10.7 billion, and OpenChat 3.57 billion parameter models. FuseChat 7 billion achieves an average performance of 8.22 on empty bench and has already outperformed various powerful chat LLMs at 7 billion and even 34 billion scales like. Starling, G34 billion, GPT 3.5, Claude 2, and even Mixtrol. Now, they have also released Fuse Chat Mixture, which is a comprehensive training data set and that covers different styles and capabilities. This model is backed by a thorough research, and you can read more about this research in paper. I will also drop the link to its model card from where you can access this paper and read in detail what exactly this stands for. But let me walk you through uh, quickly as exactly what you know this fuse LLM and this fuse chat is. This so in this research, the researchers have proposed this extended framework of fuse LLM to integrate the collective knowledge and individual strengths of multiple structure and scale variant chat LLMs into a more powerful chat LLM, resulting in fuse chat. Fuse chat adopts a fuse then merge strategy with two main stages. Firstly, it undertakes pairwise knowledge fusion for source LLMs to derive multiple target LLMs of identical structure and size via lightweight fine tuning. Then these target LLMs are merged with parameter space wherein they have proposed this novel method VARM and you can also see this VARM in the model's name. This VARM is a method for determining the merge weights based on the variation ratio of parameter matrices before and after fine tuning. Now, this um, architecture, in this, they have argued that the concept of knowledge fusion adopted by both FuseChat and Fuse LLM shares a fundamentally similar purpose with other related topics, such as recently um, everyone is talking about mixture of expert. And that is where this model also shines. But mixture of experts require loading multiple experts during inference, which has higher memory requirements. But this knowledge fusion supports integration of multiple LLMs with diverse architecture into a single LLM without any additional memory requirements, making it more memory efficient. And that is what this fusion is all about. Now, you can. Um, also plug and play more uh, models but that is something uh, for another video they also have this github repo which is full of lot of good stuff that i will highly suggest you read through it around benchmarking and stuff okay now enough theory let me show you how you can get this fuse chat 7 billion locally and play around with it the tool which i'll be using for this purpose is my favorite LM Studio. If you don't know what that is, I have done various videos around it. So I would suggest that you go through it and uh, my channel and search for it if you don't know about it. Launch LM Studio on your Windows system. On the home page in this text box, just type Fuse Chat, press enter, and you will see various people have done the quantized version of it. I'll be going with Lone Strikers uh, Fuse Chat 7 billion. So thanks to him for creating this. And I have already downloaded the biggest quantized version which is around and just under 8 gb of size that's done let me double check the folder icon the model is there click on these three dots and from the middle just load the model and then on the top left you can keep an eye on the memory and cpu consumption Okay, so that is loaded. Let's also try to offload everything to GPU. It's done. And you would have to reload the model again. Model is being loaded. Let's wait for it and then we will play around with some of the prompt to see its capabilities and performance.
Now, according to the model card, this model is quite exotic and that is the feedback which I have received from some of the people who have tested it. So let's try out some of the exotic prompts here. I'm asking it, can you explain the significance of the Maasai tribe, Ma Maasai tribe's traditional jumping dance and how it reflects their cultural identity and social structure? So let's see. Very nice. Wow. Okay, you can see that it is a hallucinating at the end. It, I'll just stop it and we'll go up. So it started very well. And if you read through its whole stuff, it is saying, it is telling us about the Maasai tribe's traditional jumping dance known as Adumu. And then Adumu dance is performed by young Maasai men various ceremonies and then Adubo reflects the Maasai tribe social structure by highlighting the roles and then it is go on and on and on and then it gives the conclusion. Now once it has given the uh, response it is now just talking I don't know what um, you know it has just given some synopsis but then afterwards it is giving me some Amazon Prime Day deals which is crazy. Okay, let me ask a follow-up question about this Maasai dance. So I'm asking it, how the Maasai jumping dance evolved over time? Are there any historical events or cultural influences? Let's see. Looks pretty good. And you can see that it is going on and on and on. Once it does a conclusion, uh, it is giving me all the Amazon Prime deal. Is it some sort of ad or what? I don't know. Maybe it's a something, you know, it doesn't feel like a hallucination. Maybe someone has just injected it. So you have to be careful around that. Okay, so it is giving us the history of this Adumo as a rite of passage and that it's evolution in the Maasai society and all that stuff. It looks pretty good. Okay, now let me ask it another sort of uh, exotic question I think I'm going to ask it about uh, a joke so let me ask it tell me a joke about uh, tell me a joke that incorporates elements of Icelandic mythology you see it has given me the joke but then again right after it it is giving me prime deal so maybe I'll just ask it again just give me joke and nothing else nope i'll just say don't give me any amazon prime deals nope it's not listening so it is still um, giving me the joke which is good that why did the viking lose his battle against icelandic thunder god because he was no match for the mighty hammer I have no idea what this means. Anyway, so let's ask it another question. So I'm saying share a personal anecdote about a memorable travel experience and see how the model responds with empathy. I'll just remove this because this was a follow up one. So it is saying backpacking trip through Europe and thankfully, okay, no, so it has just i'm going to reload it and ask it again maybe that is why it is performing a bit bad because this is something i have noticed with lm studio that with the a passage of time you have to reload it otherwise performance gets degraded and you see it is after loading it is not giving me the proper response let's stop this uh, and then if you read through it it looks quite good but then it has gone through the Icelandic and all that stuff. I would say um, pretty wild um, model, pretty esoteric, good responses, but still I think it is quite wild. So maybe the wildest sort of chatting model I have seen so far. Let me know, try it out, play around it. Let me know what do you think. Um, but doesn't seem like uh, any sort of thing which you will put it in the production or take too seriously. This is just a merge model, so maybe a haphazard uh, sort of mod uh, model. 
but i think for unexpected fun and for fruits and giggles it's good i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or thoughts put them in the comments and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching